to a new series of Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. In the spotlight tonight are David Gerrard, an account manager whose specialist subject is the history and geography of the Lake District. Ned Pendleton, a professional gambler, who will be answering questions on the novels of Sue Townsend. Lucy Reynolds, a doctor whose subject is the life and career of Dorothy Hodgkin. And Emma Laslett, a disability benefits officer whose specialist subject is Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. <laughs> and it all began back in 1972 when the studio set was black and white and we've gone back to that historic beginning. The infamous black chair, of course, the spotlight, and the relentless clock. More than two and a half thousand people have subjected themselves to this ordeal in the hope that one of them will be crowned mastermind champion and go away with the famous glass bowl. They know what to expect. Two minutes on their specialist subject, two and a half on general knowledge. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? David Gerrard. Your occupation? Account manager. And your chosen subject? The history and geography of the Lake District. A scenic region in Cumbria which became one of the UK's first national parks in the early 1950s. Here we go, two minutes. Which is the deepest body of water in the Lake District at a maximum depth of approximately 250 feet? Wast water. Is correct. Between the ages of 9 and 17, William Woodsworth attended the grammar school in which Lakeland village? Hawkshead. Yep. The market town of Cockermouth at the northwestern edge of the Lake District stands at the confluence of two rivers. One is the Cocker. What's the other? The Derwent. Yep. Which patron of the arts and champion of social and economic causes owned a home for the last 29 years of his life at Brantwood on the eastern shore of Coniston Water? He died there in 1900. Ruskin. Yes. What's the name of the forest to the north of Westwater? The word forest does not imply trees but relates to an area where severe forest law relating to the rights of hunting was once in operation. Brantford Forest. Copeland. Four Lakeland peaks are more than 3,000 feet above sea level. Which of the four is the northernmost? Skiddle. Yes. What was the surname of the campaigning Vicar of Ray who encouraged the young Beatrix Potter to pursue her artistic and writing career? He later became one of the founders of the Lake District Defence Society and the National Trust. Canon Rawnsley. Yes. Which is the middle one of the three major lakes in the Buttermere Valley? Lowes Water and Buttermere itself both flow into it. Crummock Water. Yep. Which Lakeland Valley is linked to the flooded Mardale Valley by the Gateskarth Pass? Horsewater. Longsleddale. Which grand Georgian house in Keswick was home to the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge from 1800 and later to the poet laureate Robert Southey until the latter's death in 1843? Greater Hall. Correct. The ruins of a Roman fort, previously thought to be Medio Bogdum, stand alongside which pass above Exdale? The Hard Knock Pass. Yes. What river flows out of the southern end of Lake Windermere and after eight miles empties into Morecambe Bay? The Levens. Yes. When William Wordsworth and his family left Dove Cottage in 1808, the lease was taken up by which other writer? De Quincey. Yes. Which small body of water in the great Langdale Valley has a name that derives from the Norse for Swan Lake? Elter Water. Elter Water is correct. No passes. You've scored 12 points. Thank you. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Ned Pendleton. Your occupation? Professional gambler. And your chosen subject? The novels of Sue Townsend. The works of the British or the best known as the creator of Adrian Mole and his diaries. Here we go. What is the first name of Adrian Mole's long-term American pen pal whom he originally met when they were both on holiday in Scotland? Hamish. Yep. In number 10, the Prime Minister's wife, Adele Flore Clare, orders a new body part from the plastic surgeon Sir Nigel Hambleton. What body part is it? Nose. Yes. For many years, Adrian Mole helps to look after Bert Baxter, who refuses to die until he sees the fall of capitalism and eventually lives to the age of 100. Bert's diet consists mainly of sandwiches with what filling? Beetroot. Yes. In the cappuccino years, Adrian Mole works in a Soho restaurant that serves execrable nursery food. What's the name of the restaurant? Hoi polloi. It is. In The Woman Who Went to Bed for a Year, Eva tells Alexander that she can't remember anything about the twins' birth apart from the book she was reading. What was his title? <sighs> uh, Jane Eyre. 
the sea, the sea. When Adrian Mull moves into a loft apartment in Rat Wharf, he's greeted by a gang of swans that start hissing aggressively at him. What name does he give to the biggest and most vicious swan? Gilgood. Yes. In The Queen and I, in a letter from Castle Prison, Prince Charles tells the Queen that one of his cellmates thinks that literature is something you pour into a cat's tray. What is the cellmate's full name? Lee Christmas? Yes. What does the pliers woman do for the Queen in return for a couple of quid towards the vodka? Remove a tooth? Yeah, back tooth. What is the title of Pandora Braithwaite's autobiography in which she says that she'd loved Adrian Mole with a passion that blinded me to his unprepossessing appearance? I wanted to protect him from the world. Out of the box. Yep. In The Lost Diaries, Adrian Mole's father, George, has a lengthy spell in hospital after he falls off a ladder. What had he been trying to build in the garden at the time? A Japanese pagoda. Yep. Which former enemy of Adrian Mole, who'd been taught to read and write in a detention centre, becomes known as Baz the Skinhead Poet? Barry Kent. Yep. In Ghost Children, what gift had Christopher given to Angela in Paris in 1978? It's inscribed with the words, forever. It's a lighter. It is a cigarette lighter. What subject is Coventry Dakin's alter ego, Lauren McSky, studying at the Workers' Educational Institute in Rebuilding Coventry? Art. Is correct. No passes for you either, Ned. And 12 points for you. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Lucy Reynolds. Your occupation? Doctor. And your specialist subject? Life and career of Dorothy Hodgkin. A Nobel Prize winning British chemist who was a pioneer of the technique of X-ray crystallography. Here we go, two minutes. Hodgkin was awarded the 1964 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for her work determining structures of biochemical substances, in especially penicillin, and which vitamin? B12. Yep. At which Oxford college did Hodgkin study chemistry from 1928 to 32? Margaret Thatcher was one of her students when she later returned there as a tutor. Somerville. Yep. Hodgkin's PhD thesis was entitled X-ray crystallography and the chemistry of what chemical compounds? Sterols. Yes. Hodgkin moved to Newnham College, Cambridge in 1932 in order to carry out more research into X-ray crystallography. What was the name of the professor whom she referred to as Sage and who was her mentor during this period? Uh, John Desmond Burnell. Yes, when Hodgkin was a teenager, her interest in the properties of atoms and molecules was inspired by a book given to her by her mother of collected lecturers called Concerning the Nature of Things. It was written by which eminent scientist? William Bragg. Yes. In 1976, Hodgkins was appointed president of a series of international peace conferences, which brings together scientists from different countries and held the post until 1988. What conferences? Pugwash. Yes. Which company set up by Leslie Comrie provided Hodgkin and her team with Hollerith punched card machines, an early type of computer, to do the complex calculations needed to find the molecular structure of penicillin? Scientific computing services? Yes. Hodgkin was working for Professor Bernal in 1934 when they produced the first X-ray diffraction photographs of which digestive enzyme? Pepsin. Yep. What honour in the gift of the sovereign was awarded to Hodgkin in 1965? She was only the second woman to receive it after Florence Nightingale almost 60 years earlier. Order of Merit. Yes. What prestigious scientific body admitted Hodgkin as a fellow in 1947 and awarded her its highest individual award in 1976? Royal Society. Yes. In 1970, Hodgkin was elected Chancellor of which university she held the post till 1988? Bristol. Yep. What American charitable foundation principally funded the work of Hodgkin's team on the structure of insulin with additional funding from the Nuffield Foundation? Rockefeller Foundation. Yes. That is correct. And you too have no passes. And you, too, have 12 points. Thank you. And our final contender, please. And your name is? Emma Laslett. Your occupation? Uh, disability Benefits Officer. And your chosen subject? Uh, Stephen King's The Dark Tower series. A cycle of eight fantasy novels by one of the best-known American writers of our time, Stephen King. In two minutes, King has said that his Dark Tower series was inspired by, and to some degree dependent upon, a narrative poem by Robert Browning. Which poem? 
Carl Rowland from Dark Tower came. Yes, which book in the Dark Tower series has a single subtitle, Reproduction? It's divided not into chapters, but into stanzas, each of which ends with a stave and a response. Song of Susanna. Correct. The novella, The Little Sisters of Illyria, was first published in a 1998 anthology edited by Robert Silverberg. What's the anthology called? Legends. Yes. Which of the Twelve Guardians set at the portals by the Great Old Ones is the subject of the childhood rhyme recalled by Roland in the Wastelands that ends, he loves the land and loves the sea and even loves a child like me. Turtle. Yes. What is the name of the New York City drug baron for whom Eddie Dean is working when the gunslinger enters his consciousness in the drawing of the three? And Enrico Balazar. Correct. What song, a recurring motif in the series, is being played on a honky-tonk piano as the gunslinger Roland Deschaines approaches the doomed town of Tull? Hey Jude. Yes. On what joint of the human body were inmates at Bailey Stockade given an identifying blue tattoo? In the wind through the keyhole, the tattoo becomes a clue to the identity of Skin Man. Uh, the ankle. Yes, the gunslinger and his reluctant companion Eddie find Odetta Holmes, who sometimes adopts the hostile identity of Detta Walker, behind a door. What's written on the door? The Lady of Shadows. Yep. What term is used in the wind through the keyhole for a sudden and devastating spell of high winds and freezing temperatures, which causes water to freeze in an instant and birds to fall from the sky? Start blast. Yep. What question does Roland disapprovingly ask Jake in the 2017 film, The Dark Tower, after he takes a bite out of a hot dog that he's been handed? What braid? Yes. In the wolves of the Kala, the so-called wolves ride out once in every generation to seize children from the village of Kala Bryn Sturgis. From which land do they ride out? Thunderclap. Yes. What film do Eddie, Jake and Susanna explain to Roland in Wizard and Glass? The film's story eerily parallels their approach to the Green Palace. The Wizard of Oz. Correct. And we're out of time. And that is truly extraordinary because you have no passes and you have, you can guess, 12 points. <laughs> Well, that, that's a first for me. All four contenders with the exact same score and the same number of passes. None. David, Ned, Lucy and Emma, all on 12 points. <laughs> so it's the general knowledge round now, and if there's a tie at the end of this round, which seems entirely possible, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if they're still tied on passes, well, then there has to be a tie break. So, let's get on with it and ask David to join us again, please. And, um, normally I would say at this stage you got 12 points, and, uh, uh, but we know that, we know that you've all got 12 points. So, um, everything, at the risk of stating the, the obvious, rests on this two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Who's going to do it? Here we go, David. Two and a half minutes starting now. In 1993, the then president of South Africa, F.W. de Klerk, won the Nobel Peace Prize jointly with which other political leader? Um, Nelson Mandela. Yes. A record-producing trio that became known as the Hit Factory wrote dozens of best-selling songs for acts such as Banana Rama, Kylie Minogue and Rick Astley. In the 80s and 90s, they were Mike Stock, Matt Aitken and... Dennis Waterman. Pete Waterman. What series of linear earthworks marks the ancient boundary between England and Wales? It's named after a king of Mercia and is believed to have been built in the 8th century AD. Offers died. Yes. The crossbred dog known as a puggle is the offspring of a pug and which hound? Spaniel. Beagle. In chemistry, what name is given to the long vertical tube that's used together with a condenser to separate mixed liquids into their component parts? It's essential for distilling products with similar boiling points. A breaker. A fractionating column. What is the radio call sign of the customised plane used specifically to transport the American president? Air Force One. Yep. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, are the opening words of which novel by Dickens? A Tale of Two Cities. Yes. Which South Korean diplomat succeeded Kofi Annan as Secretary General of the United Nations? He held the post from 2007 to 16. Ban Ki-moon. Yep. What Italian dish has a name derived from a word for leg or foot and consists of a pig's trotter stuffed with minced pork? It's a speciality of the city of Medina in northern Italy. 
Jamboni. No, Zamponi. In which of Shakespeare's history plays does a dying John of Gaunt describe England as this royal throne of kings, this sceptred isle? Richard II? Yes. What mode of transport did the French statesman Leon Gambetta use to escape from Paris during the Prussian siege of 1870 to 71? Railway train. A balloon. Port Erin and Port St Mary are beach resorts near the southern tip of which of the British Isles? The Isle of Man. Yes. At Folsom Prison and at San Quentin, both released in the 1960s, are live albums by which American country singer? Johnny Cash. Yes. The Mita del Mundo is a monument that was built to mark the location of the equator, although GPS has since found it to be out by almost 800 feet. The monument is on the outskirts of which South American capital city? Buenos Aires. Quito. Who directed the 1992 film Reservoir Dogs? He also wrote the screenplay and played the character Mr. Brown. Quentin Tarantino? Yes. Which theory of the universe, now generally discredited in favor of the Big Bang theory, holds that matter is continuously being created to keep the mean density of the universe constant as it expands? The expansion theory. It's the steady state theory. Steady state theory. Though yours sounds more plausible, really, doesn't it? But anyway, <laughs> it's the steady state theory. <laughs> Once again, David, you have no passes. Your total score now is 21. <laughs> Hello, Ned, again, please. Twelve points in the bag, twenty-one, the score to beat. If you were to get through to the next round, here we go. Dry ice is the solid form of which chemical compound? Carbon dioxide. Yeah. Which country has an Adriatic coastline that extends from Slovenia in the north to Montenegro in the south, except for a stretch of about five and a half miles known as the Neum Corridor that's part of Bosnia and Herzegovina? Croatia. Yep. The first album released on the Virgin Records label was recorded by Mike Oldfield and is estimated to have sold more than 15 million copies worldwide. What's the title of the album? Tubular Bells. Yes. The small white dwarf dwarf star Sirius B forms a double star with the much larger dog star Sirius A. What is its appropriate three-letter nickname? Uh, dog. The pup. Uh. Which Conservative peer succeeded Baroness de Souza as Lord Speaker in 2016 during Margaret Thatcher's premiership? He served as Secretary of State for Transport, then Health and finally Employment. Fowler? Yes, Norman Fowler. What name is given in geometry to the side of a right-angled triangle that is opposing the right angle? Hypotenuse? Yes. Which architect and polymath redesigned St. Paul's Cathedral after it was destroyed in the Great Fire of London? Wren? Yes. What senior rank in the Royal Navy is equivalent to the Army rank of General? Um, Captain? Admiral. An Oscar-winning 2013 film stars Sandra Bullock and George Clooney as astronauts fighting for survival after their space shuttle mission goes wrong. What film? Gravity. Yep. What name is given to the early 20th century art movement led by the French painters Henri Matisse and André Derain? Its style is characterised by the use of strong colours and fierce brushwork. Fauvism. Yes. The climate change activist Greta Thunberg, whose protests in 2018 inspired the school's strike for climate movement, was born in 2003 in which country? Sweden. Yes. Which member of the Four Seasons had his biggest success as a solo artist in the UK with the theme from the film Grease, a number three hit single in 1978? Uh uh, John Travolta. Frankie Valli. Which 17th century Roman Catholic primate of all Ireland, who was martyred at Tyburn, was canonised in 1975? His preserved head is enshrined in a church in Drogheda in Ireland. Ooh, bacon. Oliver Plunkett. A caprese salad is traditionally made up of just three ingredients, mozzarella, tomato and which herb? Um, basil? Yes. Which golf club near Ascot in southern England has been a venue for both amateur and professional golf since 1901? In 2008, it hosted the Women's Open for the fourth time. Sandwich? Sunningdale. Which Scottish river rises on the slopes of Ben Lomond and flows past the city of Stirling before it widens out into an estuary crossed by two spectacular road bridges and a celebrated railway bridge? D. It's hay. No, neither. The fourth. Oh, God. No passes. You now have a total of 22 points. <laughs> and I will see you again, please. And you, of course, start out with 12 points. The score to beat is 22.
Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. Two and a half minutes. The opening of a major canal in 1914 allowed ships to travel between the east and west coasts of America without having to sail around Cape Horn. What canal? Panama. Yeah, March pain is an old term for a type of confectionery paste made with ground almonds and sugar. What's its similar sounding modern name? Marzipan. Yes, in April 2019, Omar al-Bashir was ousted in a military coup and arrested. Since 1989, he'd been the ruler of which northeast African country? Algeria? Sudan. What is the collective name for the sea creatures of Greek mythology whose enchanting music and songs would lure passing sailors to their deaths? Sirens. Yes. Which journalist and author popularised the so-called 10,000-hour rule in his new 2008 book, Outliers? It suggests that this is the length of time a person must practise a skill in order to become an expert. Jones. No, Malcolm Gladwell. What common name is given to the group of arachnids closely related to mites that feed on the blood of mammals such as sheep and deer and are carriers of infections such as Lyme disease? Ticks. Yes. After the establishment of Tate Modern on the south bank of the Thames, the original Tate Gallery built on the site of the old Millbank Penitentiary was renamed. What new name was it given? Tate Britain. Yes. Which Irish racehorse trainer won his first Cheltenham Gold Cup with album photo in 2019? He'd previously trained six runners up in the race. Ginger McCain. Willie Mullins. What name's given to a shoemaker's model of the human foot on which boots and shoes are made? Last. Yes. What's the name for the unit of weight used to measure the fineness of silk and man-made fibres such as nylon? It was originally the name of a French coin. Denia. Yes. What term for an intrusive freelance photographer comes from the name of one such character in the 1960 film La Dolce Vita, directed by Federico Fellini? Paparazzi. Yes. Which British boy band reformed in 2005 after a break of nine years and topped the UK albums chart the following year with Beautiful World? Take that. Yes. Which Texan city, a centre of the space and petrochemical industries, is the fourth largest in America in terms of population? Austin. Houston. What is the name of the small area of the retina of the eye where no visual image can be formed because of the absence of light-sensitive cells? Fovia. The blind spot. What was the surname of the nun who, in the 1990s, presented several television documentary series about art, including Sister Wendy's Odyssey and Sister Wendy's Story of Painting? Beckett. Yes. Which is the highest mountain on the British mainland that's south of the Anglo-Scottish border? Scuffle Pike. Snowden. What is the common name for the waxy substance that originates in the intestines of the sperm whale? The substance is often used in the manufacture of perfumes. Ambergris is correct. No passes, Lucy. You have 23 points. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and finally, Emma, please. No point in me telling you, because you know, but you have 23 to beat. And you start out, of course, with 12 points. Here we go. The convicted murderer Robert Stroud became a renowned ornithologist after he began to breed canaries while he was in jail. He became known as the Birdman of which American prison? Alcatraz. Yes. What pink mouse-like creatures are the title characters of children's television series first broadcast in 1969? They eat green soup and blue string pudding and communicate only in whistles. Clangers. Yep. What German words used in English as a term for pleasure that's derived from another person's misfortune? It's a compound of German words for harm and joy. Schadenfreude. Yep. Which island group off the west coast of Ireland includes the Isles of Inishmore, Inishman and Inishia? Aran Island? Yep, Aran Islands. What mottled green and yellow citrus fruit across between a tangerine and a grapefruit has a name that refers to its perceived unattractive appearance? Ugly fruit. Yeah, which orphan and religious reformer was born in New Hampshire in 1821? She rose to prominence as an advocate of spiritual healing and went on to establish the Christian science movement. Ah. Uh, pass. Which Welsh cyclist was voted BBC Sports Personality of the Year in December 2018? Earlier that year, he'd won the Tour de France. Garen Thomas. Yes, what's the medical term for a loss of bone density in older people that leads to an increased risk of fractures? It's derived from Greek words meaning porous bone. Osteoporosis. Yes, and Orson Welles' radio dramatisation of a novel by H.G. Wells caused panic when it was broadcast in America in 1938 because many people believed that Martians had actually landed. Which novel? 
The War on Two Hearts. Yeah, a 1996 film stars the basketball player Michael Jordan alongside Bugs Bunny and other animated Looney Tunes characters. What film? Space Jam. Yes, which ventriloquist, whose career spanned more than 50 years, was best known for performing with a green duck called Orville and a monkey called Cuddles? Keith Harris. Yes, which right-wing Israeli political party founded in 1973 has been led by Ariel Sharon and Benjamin Netanyahu, among others? Demat. Likud. What is the name of the Athenian sculptor who supervised the construction of the Parthenon and created the statue of Zeus at Olympia? Phidias. Yes. Which bridge across the Thames was opened with great ceremony in 1894 by the Prince of Wales, the future King Edward VII? It remains one of London's best-known landmarks. Tower Bridge. Correct. In the process of hydraulic fracturing, liquid is injected into rock at high pressure to extract oil and gas. The process is more commonly known by what name? Fracking. Yep. What is the surname of the Glastonbury Festival founder Michael and his daughter Emily, who's co-organised the event? Evis. Yes. What is the title of the 1907 novel by Joseph Conrad, which has the shop owner and spy Adolf Belloc as its central character? The secret agent. Is correct. You had one pass. Mary Baker Eddy was the uh, reformer. <laughs> However, it doesn't matter because you have scored 27 points. Well, some extraordinary scoring tonight. Let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place, 21 points, David. Third place with 22 points, Ned. Second place, 23 points, Lucy. In first place, and a clear winner in the end, 27 points, Emma. Emma is, of course, our winner, and she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. the other contestants honestly i thought this was a really strong field and that just goes to show in the scores so i'm really glad i could stand up to some good opposition coming off a tie in the specialist subject I, honestly i don't think i've ever seen that before and i just thought it showed how strong everyone was i was on the show a few years ago like five years ago um and i got to the semi-finals then so here's hoping i can do one better this time it, it was a hard-fought match and I'm just relieved and a bit surprised that I came out on top. <laughs>